Mahesh, what capabilities does your services quote to cash solution include? Thanks, uh, Frank, for having me. Uh, the, if I have to mention three things that uh, our code to cash uh, for services solution includes, obviously we we are a completely end-to-end -end platform which starts from the scope discovery all the way to the coding lifecycle. But there are three things that differentiates us, right? One is uh, we have a very detailed estimate of functionality. It's basically a fully baked estimation capability that includes like a scope discovery, uh, estimation, um, you know, uh, wizard-like setup, uh, uh, kiosk like setup, all of that stuff, right? So that's that's extremely critical. That's the foundation for any services quoting or professional services companies uh, that that are out there. The second one uh, that we are super proud of and our customers love us for is a multi-dimensional Excel-like working experience that we have developed inside of our Provis uh, solution, right? Because when you are dealing with the multi-dimensional um, dimensions of a services quoting, it's important that you know, we kind of replicate uh, what they're used to using, which is like Excel spreadsheets or Google Sheets. Mm -hmm. And so we have we have a multidimensional Excel-like experience inside of our, our product. The third one, which is most exciting and most used is the scenario modeling, because in the services, um, you know, scenario modeling is extremely critical. Uh, usually mid-tier to enterprise customers ends up somewhere between 25 to 40 different Excel uh, spreadsheet versions is what we have been told by the time they are done with the deal. And you can imagine the mess uh, that it creates. And so in our system, you know, you can create all of that scenario with one click of a button. Uh, it is backed by our AI-led recommendations. It allows you to do complex pricing adjustments uh, and side-by-side -side comparison of those scenarios. And what are three key benefits your customers get from using your solution? I'll... I'll... I'll talk about four instead of three, because that's what typically we see with the customers. Uh, the number one is revenue maximization, right? So uh, the services business has grown complex. There are many different kinds of services that customers have to offer. Uh, what that means is really, you know, our, our engine actually works to ensure that we are looking at the past history of, of how you have sold, who you have sold to, where you have been successful, and then basically recommend saying that, hey, you know, for this type of customer, for this type of, uh, you know, deal, you should sell uh, maybe implementation services, managed services, and education services. But in the other instance, maybe there are different kinds of services that you should include, right? So revenue maximization is extremely critical. Um, what goes with the revenue maximization is the services attachment rate, right? Because typically, you know, you don't add all of the services that you want to sell. The second one is the margin optimization. Now, 1% of optimized margin in the services is equivalent to 12 to 14% of top line impact, right? And so you can understand how critical that is. And so our software through scenario modeling and through our AI recommendation allows you to optimize the margins without necessarily impacting your top line. The third one is the sales acceleration. Because we are automating the entire process, it allows you to go, uh, let you go faster um, and, and kind of, you know, uh, get to the customers very quickly um, uh, and all that, right? And, and the fourth one is really the compliance and, um, uh, kind of improved customer experience. The compliance in terms of, you know, all the audit trails, all of your approvals, all of that would have been captured. And then, you know, customer experience because you are now able to turn around to the customers and put more accurate SOW or proposals in front of them, right? So those are the four categories of benefits that we have always seen. Now, some customers have all four as a problem. Some customers have one or two, but even if you have one, they have seen a great deal of ROI uh, from our, our, our product. In preparation for this meeting, I also looked up your website and I saw that you had some points over there regarding AI selling. And I was wondering, uh, first of all, what do you mean by that? And why should your customers care about that? So, you know, if I step back and see the world that uh, services uh, companies live today, it's an Excel, sp Excel spreadsheets and Google Sheets and stuff like that. Now, one thing that, that they are not able to harness on back of that is really learn anything from the past history, mistakes, successes, none of that stuff, right? The the data stays in Excel spreadsheets and there's just no learning whatsoever, which is super exciting for us because I'll give an example. Um, most often customers come and say that, hey, we are always selling the deal at 55% margin, but you know, when, you, when we look at uh, after the fact, our realized margin is always 40%. 
but then they continue to sell at 55% margin. They continue to op, you know, uh, operate at a 40% 40, 40 margin, but there is no connection saying that, hey, you know, next time you're doing the deal, maybe you should change a bunch of these things so that your realized margin and you know, sold margins kind of come together, right? Which is where our um, AI engine comes in. Does it, I mean, there are multiple applications in terms of what our AI engine does, but that is just one of the examples. The second one is, like I was saying, um, you know, if I'm a good salesperson, I know exactly what are all the services that I should include. But if I'm a new salesperson, maybe I'll include one or two services and leave some money on the table, which is where our uh, AI led, you know, recommended selling also comes in and say, hey, you are doing a deal with high tech industry. You know, here is the size of your customer. And by the way, we have done hundreds such deals and, you know, your colleagues have been successful selling five different types of services together. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and so bundle them up. Right. So that's where the AI comes in. So there are lots of different uh, use cases, but um, we are super excited in terms of the possibilities, the art of possible in terms of now that all of the data resides in our system, what we can do and how we can help services companies, um, you know, win better and go faster. And my last question is really uh, looking a little bit forward, right? So more roadmaps items for the next 12 months, as far as you can share, where do you see this services quote to cash market going in the next year? That that's an interesting question, Frank. So I I think you know our take is that we are going to see uh, we, we feel that the motion of selling products and services together is going to become more of a norm for most of the product companies, right? It's it's probably not a norm right now. I mean, we talk to lots and lots of these customers, and you know they 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 don't want to slow down on the product uh, sales journey, but you know at the same time from a customer perspective, hey, like, I want to know the total cost of ownership. I mean, I don't want to buy the product for half a million dollar and then you come in and say, well, it's going to take another half a million dollar to implement, right? And and all that stuff, right? So we feel that that motion is going to go towards uh, kind of, you know, selling both of them together. Uh, and, and I talked about customer experience. I mean, that's going to be the key focus for the next few years is what we feel. And, and now, you know, you think of what Provas does, which is obviously, you know, automate the entire services coding journey, but we we also tightly integrate with the product CPQ, like a Salesforce product CPQ, where we can provide a seamless user experience where you can continue to go through your product uh, CPQ journey, but also add the services as applicable and as recommended, and then in parallel, continue your entire services quoting journey as well. The end result of that is you can do approvals on a combined kind of uh, product and services. You can do your proposals and SOWs together as well. And then you can integrate with the product order management or billing system where product data goes to the order management, the services data goes to the PSA. And now all of that is kind of happening seamlessly in front of you, um, you know, through one system. So so I, we see, we think that is going to be the future. All of these companies are going to adopt to the services coding solutions, which is going to allow them to go faster and, and you know, create a better customer experience.